I'm pumped, man. I, I so much excitement going through my body. Like I've worked extremely hard to get here, and uh, it happened quick, and I'm ready to go. That, that's simple, man. Like I'm Dominic Reyes. I was born in, in Apple Valley, California. You know, I, my upbringing was completely different than anybody he's ever faced. You know, I'm lifelong athlete playing multiple sports, baseball, football, wrestling, track and field, and I excelled in all of them. And uh, now I'm excelling at MMA and tend to do the same thing. Uh, it's good to see you guys today. How are you guys? Oh, that's good. That's good. God bless you guys. Glad you guys made it today. Um, I'm super excited. Like Dominant, I'm, I'm fired up, I'm pumped up, ready to destroy. Um, What was your question exactly? What? You know, I mean, when you were a world champion, he wasn't even fighting professionally yet. So right. I'm curious if it's difficult to get exciting for, for, you know, it's not like a marquee name or uh, yeah. somebody that you've seen for years. No, it's not difficult to get excited. You know, Dominic starting off this whole thing with talking about party favorites and bringing up my past and stuff like that. It, I've, it's, it was exactly what I wanted and what I needed. Somebody who's tall. People think I'd be bad against tall people. So I'm excited for this challenge. He's undefeated. Um, so yeah, I this guy tickles my pickle, and uh, and uh, and I cannot wait. Pause. I cannot wait to put my hands on him. Um, he's an elite level athlete. I, I believe I am as well. Um, he has a lot of power and and his left hand. Um, but to call him different than anybody I've faced before, I don't know if I can do that um, at all. I've faced so many people with uh, way more advanced striking. Um, I've faced so many people with extreme knockout power. And um, I just gotta go out there, respect him, believe, and, and just do what I do. And just one last one, John. I know you're not looking past Dominant at all, but Israel Adesanya is the name that keeps coming up. And one day you say, I'm not talking about this choker. And then 30 minutes later, you're tweeting about him again. You know what I mean? So give me an idea of, you know, your thoughts on Israel Adesanya, a potential matchup, what, what you just think about him as a fighter? I am, uh, it's unfortunate that me and him have to take things this way. Um, at the end of the day, if Israel wanted to fight me, that would be a gigantic fight for the sport. Um, a lot of people talk about, well, you know, why are you forcing Israel to go to light heavyweight? You never went to heavyweight. There, there's like a, there's a gigantic jump between me and the heavyweights. Me and Izzy, we're only 15, 20 pounds apart. So if Izzy really wanted to fight me, he would do it. Izzy's a pussy. And, 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 there's, and, and, and there's really no way around, there's no way around it. So, and as far as I'm being in my head with the internet stuff, it's just fun. It's a lot of fun. The fans enjoy it uh, when we chirp back and forth and I like to keep the people excited. So that's all that's about. He is not in my head. Um, he's not in my head at all, actually. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm liking the energy that he brings to the sport and I'm, I'm liking being a part of it. And uh, like I said, if he wanted to fight me, he totally would. Nick wins his last fight out of nowhere. We've never met in person. I've never shaken his gu the guy's hand. And, and the guy, instead of just being cordial or just being a martial artist and showing a, a degree of respect, he gets on the microphone, young and immature, and goes, I don't need a th uh, party favorites. I need the world title. And that's how it started. Um, but it's all good. We're here now. He got what he asked for. And, uh, and I'm going to put my hands on him. It's going to be great. So you're upset with him, but last time we spoke also about up and coming contenders, you spoke very highly of Dominic Reyes. I'm wondering, you sound like you had a tremendous amount of respect for him. Is that still the case? Um, I, I know nothing about him, honestly. I know nothing about him. I, I see the the games he wants to play with the uh, with the insults, and uh, I don't really care. I don't really care. Uh, at the end of the day, my job is to destroy this dude and start focusing on. Uh, 2020, you know what I mean? I'm like, I'm gonna have a great 2020 and it's gonna start off by destroying Dominic. Um, I don't know, hey, 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 hey. Um, this guy, this guy. Um, hell of a drug, huh? <laughs> Stupid. That's gonna follow me for a long time, huh? But, uh, yeah, man, I don't know what I want to do to him, man. I, I don't know if I want to knock him out, choke him out. But, oh, dude, I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. I promise you guys. 
I got one more for you, John. So this is your first time fighting in the great state of Texas. What took so long? Are you excited? I am excited to fight in Texas, being a, being a guy who lives in Albuquerque. You know, a lot of my friends will be able to get over there. I love Texas, man. You guys are gun toters. I'm a big gun toter. Big fan of the Second Amendment. Hell yeah. You guys are my type of people. We're going to have a lot of fun. Back, in the, uh, back when I, she, she asked me about tweeting in September about having a big fight announcement. Um, I was trying to get a Stipe Miocic fight. And I thought, I thought that maybe it would happen, but instead uh, we have Stipe DC3. Um, but at the, mo in the mo at the moment, I was re so ready to go heavyweight and, uh, and stick my fans in some of those big fellas. Yeah. And then a, a little bit after that, you tweeted that a win over Dominic wouldn't do anything for your career and you wanted super fights, and it sounds like that's what you were angling for. Is there, uh, do you still feel that way that? I, I do feel like Dominic has everything to win in this situation. Um, you know, he's relatively unknown. Uh, but that's why I'm gonna, that's, that's why I'm training as hard as I, I can. You know, I was 240 last week, I'm 230 this week. I'm taking him extremely seriously. I watch his fights every single day. Um, and um, because he's unknown, you know, people would expect someone in my position to take him lightly. And that's where guys uh, in my position would fall. Um, you know, I'm, I'm reading a, a book called uh, Relentless right now. And uh, it talks about being a, a, a cleaner. And uh, I'm trying to be a cleaner, dude. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna dominate for years and years to come. And uh, so I gotta take him very seriously. I read that book like three years ago, so. It's a good, good book. book. It's a good book. It's a great book. I'm glad you did. I'm reading it right now. In this it might have helped camp. me get here, to be honest. You know, I'm reading it right now in this training camp leading into beating your ass. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen, Johnny boy. Not gonna happen. Great, great response, Dominic. Is there a spy in my camp, John? They're not that important, Dominic. All right, John, we'll, we'll see what happens, though, man. We'll see how important I am when you're on your back, though. We'll see how important I really am. I'm taking you serious, bud. I'm taking you serious. Just know that. I'm taking you serious. But you're a pawn in this game, bro. I've been talking about it for a long time. Like DC, like all of them, bro. You're a pawn in this game. Say I'm a pawn? You're a pawn in this game, bro. How so? You're just a piece in the puzzle, bro. Piece I'm, in the puzzle? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to be great, bro, and you're just a part of it. You're a and small part of as it. As am I, and you're just another pawn in my puzzle. That's fine. Everyone's undefeated before they fight me, bro. You'll be, no, they're not. They're not, not though. You're gonna, they're really not, though. Trust me. You fought one undefeated guy. Trust me, bro. I, but that doesn't matter. Daniel what Cormier, does it have to do Dan, with... Daniel Cormier was undefeated. What does Daniel Cormier have to do with me? Brian Bader was undefeated. What does Brian Bader have to do with you're me? You're not special, Dominic. Oh, I'm this. I'm the one. I promise you. You're the one. You, you will beat, see. You knocked out Chris Whiteman. He's been knocked out so many times. You knocked. Not... Good job. When was the last time you knocked anyone out ever? I don't have to knock out people. I don't have to knock out people. I have a, I have a gigantic. So skill set. you say I don't have to knock out people, but no, then listen, you try to knock the, me knocking the, out the people. The only okay. way. We all know the. Okay, only, John. The only way you can possibly win this fight is it's, it's to catch me with 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 the left. We all know that. I could submit you, I could out-wrestle you, I can kickbox you to death. Bro, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, Dominic. All right, we'll see. You know it. We'll You're see, a one-trick pony. I, I, I don't know it, actually. You're a one-trick you, pony. You think you know Bro, it. Bro, we saw your highlight reel. It was straight left. Straight left. Straight left. Hey, left uppercut. home runs work, baby. Yeah, they do. They do. At a certain level, they do. Yeah. This level. Good response, Dominic. Do you think heavyweight could be next after, after this fight? Um, I think it's a, a very strong possibility. Absolutely, absolutely. There's always going to be someone next. You know, I I feel as if I've cleared a division, and uh, I'm waiting around, and I'm taking on new challenges. I'm not sitting on the title. I'm not hiding from anybody. I, I chose Dominic because he appears to be the best out of all my contenders, and. Uh, Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm just ready to, to just take over the world, man. Really. One more question. Um, the Colby Covington fights on Saturday, and you go way back with him, and yeah. a lot has been made, you know, is this an act? Is what he's doing? Is, is it real? Is it really him? Yeah. You've known him for a long time. Was that yeah. him back then? Yeah, Colby's a habitual liar at the end of the day. 
He, he really is. I mean, he, he, he told the fans that we lived together for two years. We lived together for one semester. Um, he's just, I've made a lot of mistakes and a lot of people don't consider me to be a good person, but I mean, coming from me, Kobe's a really bad person. He really is. He really, really is. I mean, it, there's no coincidence that, you know, Tyrone Woolley got to know him and hates him. Uh, Masvidal got to know him and hates him. I got to live with him and, and really don't like him. Um, if any of you guys got to know him, man, he, he really is a rotten person. I think the MMA community is going to start to see it over the years.